Hello all. Welcome to the course Azure Data Factory in Azure Data Engineering. So now in this lecture, let us try to understand one real time scenario, which we are going to see very frequently uh, in the projects actually. So here you can see migrate the specific pattern files from source to sync location actually. So before going to see what is this scenario, please like, subscribe and share the video. So what does it mean actually? So it is very simple. So here, if you see in the source, assume that this is the source location. These are the set of files we have. And in the destination, if you observe, uh, this is the destination where you want to copy the details, copy the files. Then here, what is specific pattern? So for example, substring pattern is nothing but here uh, we are going to take as a substring. So we are going to mention a specific substring, whichever file name have this particular pattern as a substring, those files only we need in the output. So that's what here SQL if I take. So here this file have a SQL as a substring. See, don't think that inside the data. Okay, inside the file. In the file name, whoever have this pattern. So only those files we need in the output. So that means in the destination location. So this is what we need to achieve for that how you are going to design a pipeline, ADF pipeline to migrate a, this specific pattern files to the destination. So the very first thing is steps wise, if you try to analyze, the very first thing is you need to fetch all the records from this particular source that may be a folder or container, whatever. Fetch all file, fetch it. Then after that, you need to select, we need to write a condition, whichever uh, going to have this uh, mentioned this uh, pattern as a substring, those only we need. That pattern substring files only we need to take. We are going to have a, some result. So that result is going to have a file names, whichever is actually going to have that mentioned okay. pattern. Then in the third step, what we need to do, copy this files only from source to destination. Okay, so that's what we need to do. So let us try to achieve the same steps uh, in the ADF actually. So in the ADF, for example, if you see the source uh, in the blob storage, we have two uh, containers. So the first one is source. So where we have the set of files and the other container is destination where we want to copy these files actually. So if you observe in the source container, we have a uh, total six files are there. So in this, so we are going to mention a substring that is SQL. So whoever have that SQL as a substring in the file name, those records we need in the output. So such a way we need to design. So as we discussed, what is the step one? We need to fetch all the file names from that particular source. So for that, how you will get the all file names? What is the activity we need to use here to get the all file names? So that is what actually get metadata activity. So use the get metadata activity to fetch all file names. Then, so here, get all file names, okay? That's all. Now go to the settings, create a data set. So let us try to create a data set, which is going to connect it to the blob storage, continue, CSV file, continue. So this is the linked service which we have. So let us try to take a data set name as uh, DS underscore source. So data set is uh, pointing to source container actually. So that's what I given. Now let us try to select the container actually. So that's what the source. So we should not select any specific file because we need the whole data from uh, this particular container. That means all the file names. So let it be. So click OK. So that's all. It is done. So what we need actually in this source container. So that's what if you come to the field list, we need child items. Okay. So click on the child items. So that's all. Now let us try to validate. Okay. No errors. Then click on debug button. 
so now let us try to fetch the records because we need to observe something here actually okay so now it is done so let us see the output so this is what files which we have in the uh, destination uh, source container actually so what we will do is let us try to copy paste this whole thing or simply take this whole thing into a notepad we need this structure actually okay we will refer that structure so let it be now after this what we whatever we discussed the second step is we need to filter it that means out of all the file names whichever have a substring whatever mention those names only we need in the output is it or not so such a way we should uh, write down right so for that what is the activity we can use is so that is the filter activity under iteration and conditionals so let us try to take filter on success uh, connected to the filter activity so then in the filter activity if you go to the settings so we know already that filter activity is going to take uh, input as array and going to give output as array so in the input for example how many items are there on those items so in the array actually on those items it is going to apply the filter condition so first of all what is the input you should mention so that's what whatever we copied here the get metadata activity output so this is what array structure right so you can see up to here it is array so this array we are going to give as a input to the filter activity so what does it mean this activity is output so that's what get all file names activities output dot what we need actually see here child items is actually the array type so that's what we need child items so input is done now we need to keep condition actually so what we are going to write down condition so it's very simple now you can see so we are going to find out a uh, substring right so in this is sql is there or not is sql is there or not we need to check so for that we need a function so that is what contains so you can see there is a function contains so if you just observe that it is going to return true or false and especially uh, in the contains function if you see in the contains function uh, you have to pass two parameters first parameter is the main string second parameter is the substring or pattern so that means this substring if exist in the main string then that is going to come in the output so that's what contain so the first parameter is what now so the first parameter is every value in the array so that's what the item so one item meaning is now again this we need to refer this whole thing is one item but what we need actually file name we need to check that substring so this we need means name part we need okay if you refer name field its value automatically going to replace so that's what item dot name is going to give the file name then in that file name what we need to check sql as a substring that's all so click ok now let us see what is going to return the filter one activity let us validate first is there any configuration errors no then debug it so now let us see the output so it's in progress first one is done now second one is checking yes it is done so you can see the first one whatever you configured then second one's output you just observe see three items are there total six items are there in the input yes correct total, total six items are there three three in the array total six items are there if you observe a whole thing then after that how many are satisfied three items what are those these three that's all so these three are the items which we uh, satisfying the condition actually that means substring sql have okay now this output we are using uh, to copy the those files actually so that means here we are going to use the for each activity then this you need to pass as a input 
to the for each activity. So observe the filter one's output. So in the filter one's values is the array type in the JSON structure. Okay. So that means value field you should use to pass this uh, values actually. So that means field name value you need to use to pass this array simply. So that's what go to the for each activity, configure it. In the settings part, we should say what is the input. So even for the for each also, input is always array type. So that's what filter once output. In that, we need to pass values. Value or values. Let us just check that. So that is value one. So that's what we configured, right? So value. Now, what you want to do for those values? So that's what go inside that. So you can see every value in the filter activities output is the file name. Those files you need to copy from source to destination. So that's what you can take now the copy activity. So under move and transform category, copy activity there, go to the source, create a data set. So it's a blob storage blob continue csv type continue then linker service we already created then data set pointing to the source now this is pointing to a specific file actually so earlier data set pointing to the source container only so specific file that took parameterized so just i am giving param uh, let us select the source container only because file name you are passing as a parameter. So we, we no need to select any param, uh, file here. So click OK to create this data set. Now it is created. After that, just open that data set. Then we should make this parameterized because file name coming as a parameter. So data set, first of all, should have a uh, parameter. So that's what file name. OK, done. So this you are going to use in this position see in the source container file name is going to come as a parameter so that's what click on the dynamic content select the file name so this is the dynamic value and how this dynamic value is coming to the data set go to the pipeline see here now you are going to have a file name parameter value so this is coming from where from your input of for each activity so input is what actually array type. So in array each item. So click on the dynamic content. This is what for each item. In that item, we need name part. So that's what you can see the structure. So name part we need. Of course, this is the structure of a get metadata activity. But the same thing uh, that also I will show you. Click OK. So go back actually. So you can see filter activities output. See? That is also name. Field name is name. So that means this value is going to come from this item. From this item, name field value going to replace, see that traversing, going to replace this position. That means SQL underscore one dot CSV. That value is going to this position. So in the source container, SQL1.csv file is going to take actually. That means it is going to pick as a source. So that's all actually. Now that we need to copy into the sync location. So to where we want to copy. So we want to copy to destination container, right? So that's what let us try to create a destination data set. So CSV type continue. Then data set is already created. Now data set underscore destination now just select the container so that's the destination container okay click on ok to create a data set so that's what you can see these are the six files we are we are going to have in the source container now go to the destination container where you don't have any files now the uh whatever pattern we are mentioning that pattern name having files should come into the destination container so that's what configuration is done. Okay. Just if you see the high level, here we are fetching the data, all file names. Here we are filtering. So
so this fetched file names you are passing as a input in the form of array to this filter activity now filter activity is filtering basing on the pattern we mentioned that means the substring we mentioned so the output is going to in the form of array which are satisfied that substring actually now that output you are giving as an input to the for each activity now inside that array file names we have for each file name it is going to copy the file from source to sync by using copy activity inside of this for each activity so this is what overall the scenario whatever we discussed so click on validate close it now let us try to debug but before that you see there is no files in the destination so now click on debug observe how this is going to execute so see the output section now it is fetching the details as usually we seen then uh, filtration is also completed so you can see there are three files in the output of filter activity that means whoever have substring then those three files is copying from source to destination so that's what done overall d so all of them succeeded now go to the destination container now just by refreshing it observe that so these are the three files we have in the uh, destination container actually so this is what the scenario very simple okay so overall we are going to use get metadata activity filter activity for each activity copy activity okay so hope you understand uh, this scenario clearly thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe the video